rent and we'll roar like true Newfoundlanders. We'll rent and we'll roar on deck and below until we strike bottom inside the two sunken. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The answer to the minister's question is yes, sir. Your department and you, sir, are a bully. Here's the rub. Mr. Bowers has little to no experience in the offshore oil and gas industry. Apparently, managing a successful conservative campaign is experience enough. When will this government take responsibility and establish a full and independent inquiry into Canada's search and rescue system? What does that say to Canadian sealers about the Conservative government's supposed unwavering commitment to the Canadian seal harvest? First the EU ban, now Russia. It says that commitment is a joke. Under success of Conservative and Liberal governments, commercial stocks such as cod, flounder, capelin, herring, on and on and on, have all been battered, have all been beaten, have all been decimated. One stock after another stock after another stock. I wouldn't trust this Conservative government, the Minister of Public Safety, with a goldfish. A quick note for the Conservative members opposite. If you look to the stained glass window, the furthest to your right, you'll see the pitcher plant, the official flower of Newfoundland and Labrador. How privileged you are to sit across from such a raw and rugged beauty. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I ask you, does that sound like scientists have been muzzled? Because it does to me. Not only do I rise in opposition to the Conservative budget, which is a backward step in so many ways for Newfoundland and Labrador and all of Canada, then again, step isn't the right word. Backward leap seems more appropriate. Speaker, there are serious problems with Canada's search and rescue, and this minister has presented nothing but empty excuses. First, bad weather. Then, imaginary protocols. Finally, broken equipment were to blame, when all along it seems to be a question of misplaced priorities. Why is this government refusing to be accountable? News broke Tuesday that medical calls for help from ships off Newfoundland and Labrador, and only off Newfoundland and Labrador, were being routed 5,000 miles away to Italy. The calls were being directed to a Rome-based non-profit organization that's been described as, quote, the soup kitchen of telehealth. Which part of our fisheries, of our culture, will the Conservatives set adrift next? My question is this, wouldn't any new monies be best spent on helping claimants as opposed to harassing claimants? Consider this an invitation. Will the minister come with me to these outports to explain to the people why the Conservative government is abandoning them? Nearly 80% of my province's EI claimants would be targeted because they've been on EI more than once. Why are they punishing seasonal businesses and the hard-working men and women who keep them going? So 20 years after the biggest layoff in Canadian history, comparable to the Prairie Dust Bowl of the 1930s, and of course I'm speaking about the shutdown of the northern cod fishery, the anniversary, Mr. Speaker, is coming up on July the 2nd. You should mark that on your calendar. The conservative line is about money for fighter jets. Prisons and fighter jets have a higher priority than our seniors, than our most vulnerable. The trouble with science in Canada Fish science, for example, Mr. Speaker, is that it's tainted by politics. The number one issue in my riding is seniors, people living on fixed incomes, people trying to make ends meet. Atlantic Blue. The song is a tribute to the 84 men who went down with the Ocean Ranger. It's their wishes that never fail to find vacant hearts on Valentine's. Pooled pension plans are not the solution for the, for the retirement security of Canadians. They're not the solution. Why would a COA approve a loan to a company that creates fish processing jobs in China? Why isn't, the funding, why isn't it funding those jobs here at home? Can you imagine fire departments around this country operating with one response time during the day and another during evenings and on weekends? Can you imagine? It's now been 67 days since Burton Winters went missing and his family is still waiting for answers, Mr. Speaker. 67 days, rhetoric doesn't cut it. I put together a top five list of the best quotes from that day. Number five quote, read the cuts to DFO and the Coast Guard. Quote, it will come to the point where a mariner will be asked, are you up to your neck in water yet? No? All right, you're good. Call back when it gets there. 
Number four, quote, we the attack on Atlantic Canada, quote, perhaps we're paranoid, but that doesn't mean they're not out to get us. Number three, quote, we the cuts to environmental legislation, quote, less science equals less knowledge. It's basically like driving with the lights off. Number two, quote, quote, this prime minister isn't my prime minister. He's the CEO of corporate Canada and his cabinet are the board of directors. And the number one quote from the town hall in my writing regarding the Trojan horse budget bill is this. Quote, the Prime Minister doesn't know his arse from a hole in the ground. We'll rant and we'll roar like true Newfoundlanders. We'll rant and we'll roar under below. Until we strike bottom inside the tube.